What's up, everybody? Um, I'm Jim Fro from Ready Check Pull, and we're here with Zach Zachi, and we got a guest, Setsuko. He is a YouTuber. He is a streamer. He loves World of Warcraft just like us. He's into beta and all that stuff. I don't know really how to introduce him, but maybe he can do a better job of introducing himself. What do you do, man? So I keep my sub count low and hide on YouTube, and I don't know how you found me. So. Hell yeah, I'm a lurker. I'm a lurker. If you're listening to this podcast and you know who I am, then that's a YouTube achievement. So good job. <laughs> <laughs> that's that algorithm coming in hot. Uh, what's up, Zach? How you doing? What's up? What's up? So uh, today we did a little bit of a uh, uh, raid testing and uh, yesterday as well. I know uh, Setsuko's uh, didn't do any raid testing yet, but uh, just uh, how are you feeling about World of Warcraft right now? Both of you. You guys can talk right. I'm keep I'm keeping the spoilers kind of kind of away from from all that. But I looked at some of the pictures and it looks gorgeous. True. Yeah, it's crazy. Like we we like just got out of raid testing um, of like a super spoilery boss. Um, but that that was pretty fun. They they did like two bosses again today and two bosses yesterday. Getting to see like the different wings of the place, dude. The aesthetic of this raid. <laughs> It just gets like it's out of control crazy, crazier and crazier <laughs> can i ask what is that um so there's a boss and there is a thing i don't again trying not to spoil anything mm. here so there's a thing that is like a statue and it looks like it's a statue of that thing of that boss is that true like you know we just did the testing today is, is it is it is it actually him that is the giant statue where the the shackles yeah. are on yeah because that shit looks the big, dope. It's the big bad guy, the big bad, <laughs> big bad last boss. He's like the, the big bad, big big bad of that of that oh, zone or whatever. So sick, dude. Yeah, that's like and his then, whole like, castle. It's all red and it's like literally looks like vampire everything and Castlevania. It's so sick. Yeah. Uh, are you guys getting? You, uh, uh, are ahead. you getting loop drops? Were you getting loot drops in the testing? We can't kill any bosses. Like they're so. <laughs> yeah. It was, you know, it's like, it's like they're so overtuned and they have so much health and there was lag the first day. So you can't even, can't even kill a boss to even talk about yeah. loot. And I don't, I don't know if they, yeah, like in the dungeon journal, they don't have any loot tables. Like you can't see what's even on them. So I don't mm -hmm. know if they've okay. even like populated those yet. That doesn't but. surprise me because in some zones that I've been running around in, I'm like, let me go over to this flight master. He's not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Where he doesn't exist yet. <laughs> How do I get back to Orbos? There's no portal. Yeah. But I, think I literally like, have you, just uh... been testing and like alt f 4 ing the game, logging in and making a new character just to test like the third spec that I need to test. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see the loot because like the fact that um, we're not going to have any, there's no artifact, there's no you know say legendary it. cloak there's like we're gonna say every it. piece of gear no. what what do you say want? what what say it what am i saying you I always forget know. what Just fucking say it i don't know what i'm saying there's no titan forge there's okay. no war that's forge. not what i was talking about there's dude. no there's no fucking nothing i don't care I what know, you're saying dude. Oh, <laughs> what i was saying dude was every single one of our armor slots is freed up there's no artifact next actually dropped this expansion cloaks drop Weapons, weapons drop we get everything so all the gears on the table they're going crazy with the like transmog like sets and like mm -hmm. the, the the our team is just like popping off having a blast so i'm excited to see like what the rate we kind of know what the rate sets look like i think if i remember right and they're <laughs> insane but yeah i'm excited to start seeing like what trinkets and stuff drop and ooh, it's got to be sick that's actually kind of funny because uh and a couple couple weeks ago uh, I hadn't played live in like months and I logged back on just for fun and I did a time walking, uh cataclysm time walking. And my, my character's not like all decked out and geared out. I haven't played in months and I got a neck piece from the drop <laughs> and I was oh, like, Oh geez. sweet. This is pretty high item level. I didn't throw. Oh, right. <laughs> right. That's not yeah. a thing right now. <laughs> Not only yeah. can you not put it on, you can't even transmog it because that's not a thing. <laughs> so it's just yeah. wait. Might as well be a great. Did they item. end up? Did they end up? What they do with cloak drops? They just stopped dropping. They didn't. They didn't oh, drop really? it in like Nyalotha and stuff. Yeah. 
Oh, crazy. Just straight up. Yep. They're like legendary cloak. That's what it is. Ha ha. Again. Remember how much you liked it <laughs> last <'em>. time. <laughs> yeah, got him. Uh, yeah, but no, we've been going over. Have you been uh, testing out any of the legendaries and things like that? So I haven't, uh, I haven't started testing them yet. What I've been doing is just kind of checking out the classes on their, their, their base level without all the shiny yeah. stuff. But I actually just prior to this went through and looked at all the legendary effects that were in the game. And um, my favorite ones are the rogue ones. Oh, oh are you like, a, yet. you thinking about maining a rogue? No, that's a straight up joke. They don't have any legendaries <laughs> at all. <laughs> they have no legendary powers right that's now. That's actually kind of sad. <laughs> They're just in stealth. Uh, it was kind of like, the, Got like <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, that's what I said on stream. I was like, man, their legendary powers are just, they rogue better than rogues do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it's kind of, it's kind of weird to see the contrast in legendary powers. Um, I'm the kind of person who like, I don't really, I don't gravitate towards the mathy ones. The ones where you read them and you're like, that doesn't sound very interesting, but it might be really good. Right, right. I'm the person yeah. who's like, I read uh, one of the unholy DK uh, legendary powers just summons like a mega zombie that charges in and explodes. I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's yes. me. I don't even care if it's good. I right. just want to do it. <laughs> um, so there's like some pretty big discrepancies. I think some classes have like none of those and some classes have like a good splashing of them. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know. I just wish there was like a nice blend because I know there's people out there that are gonna take that mathy, you know, talent for that min max DPS increase and like go for it. If that's yep. the way you play, go for it. But me, I want a big mega death zombie. Right. 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 Yep. They're kind of kind of hit or miss for sure. And there's like that some of them like uh what like the warrior is it I don't know if it's prot specific, but like. It gives your entire party spell reflect when you press spell reflect, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Whoa. Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, obviously I don't know. it doesn't it's, do uh, damage, but that could be wild. I think it's the Death Knight. Or something. maybe it is the the Warrior. Oh, it's it for two sure spell reflect. Yeah, there's spell reflect and oh, there's one for I think it's shield wall as well. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I remember that one too. I'm just like imagining like it doesn't do any damage you know spell reflect doesn't do any damage until you're fighting a mob that does like a volley mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you yeah, spell yeah. reflect every single one of them and just, dude it wasn't good moon like oh no that like had the 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 spell reflect was actually working on one of oh yeah on the old turnaround mechanic and it was just nuking the yeah. boss <laughs> the boils on the ground you could like sprint <laughs> through them yeah 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 that yeah that's crazy. one that i read and i just kind of went that doesn't sound insanely fun but it feels like there's going to be times where like that's just what you have to have yeah it could be could be a little ridiculous there's a lot of that going on where it's like i don't know they, they had to just get rid of a soul bind recently that was a cheat like a straight up cheat death and like everybody complained about it and said hey we have to take this so oh yeah <laughs> it's crazy so yeah, they just deleted it that. out of the game <laughs> they just got rid of it because everybody was like hey this one's broken it's cool but jesus like everybody has to take this. So they're, they're like a little all over, all over the place with stuff like that. The yeah. And, options yeah. I like that. What I do like is that some of the new ones have crazy interactions. Like some of the legendaries with, you know, like the hunter legendary, like lighting your fucking oh, car on. Yes. Like that's so sick. Yeah. Like, that's the fact that so they're starting to do that type of thing. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's way broken. <laughs> like like numbers is way damage. broken right now. <laughs> AOE yeah, yeah. damage. Like what was, ridiculous. what were you doing Zach's to the dummies? Like, Oh, I, f I forgot, but it was like double the next best AOE or some shit like yeah. that. It was insane. I, I was looking at that and I was like, I think the biggest number I've seen on any other ability like this has been like five or six thousand. And this is literally ten thousand to <laughs> yeah, everything yeah. in your tar trap. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It was it's actually crazy. But it's just like, think about that. Like they've never had interactive abilities before ever. Like there was never like. Never, it's never like you put something on the ground and then something else triggers it or you move something over here. And then like, I'm just I'm kind of curious what what other shit they have, like up their sleeve with those. That's that's like yeah. a cool ass thing to be able to to be able to utilize design right. wise, at least. And like, since there's so many, a lot of the legendaries are borrowed from like old, old legendaries or old tier sets or old stuff like there's reimaginations of old stuff. That's just new. <laughs> you know like yeah yeah, yeah straight up yeah they're just they're just messing around maybe they'll yeah, make it like, like a 
Torn they need to. Power. They need to explore. They need to do. I feel like Blizzard is just. Sometimes Blizzard is just afraid to go outside of the box of what they, I think, have predetermined is what works. Right. You know? Right. Bro, my mind is going wild right now. Thinking of the, <laughs> like, like I'm like literally thinking I'm like, what if you're a like an, a frost mage? And since now you can like, I don't know if you can, but if you could flame strike your gr- ground and then mm. you ice block and then it shatters the ice block. What? <laughs> Shit like that would be so what sick, the, what, dude. Yeah, they can. I mean, oh my. God. They can go crazy. Well, the thing is like talking about the legendaries, right? Like they can do crazy stuff with that. It's like tenfold when you go into Torghast. And like the anima powers are just doing Ooh. the craziest stuff. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. is insane with stuff like that. We are just like, oh, this ability that did nothing. It's one shotting things now. And it's what's, awesome. Yeah. What's like your what's like your your most memorable Torghast run so far? Oh, oh that's a good one. Because hmm. I've question. I've done Torghast, but like I just, you know, I've been in the beta for like a week. Yeah, I think like since beta came out, I wasn't in the alpha, so. Uh, I've done probably 15 floors of Torghast, but like for my part, I went in as Prop Pally. Yeah. And oh my goodness, I got like the run speed next to the wall, right? Yeah. I got the Avenging Wrath as soon as you enter the floor. I got the stacks for uh, Hammer of Wrath, which is your execute ability that you can use in Avenging Wrath on like anything regardless of health and amped damage on Hammer of Wrath. (laughs) <laughs> and I actually got it so that uh, I got that Avenging Wrath thing stacked three times. So every floor I went in was 90 seconds of Avenging Wrath, <laughs> just throwing hammers and running at like 120 percent speed <laughs> against the wall. I was just flying through the levels. Just uh, I felt like like, I don't know, like Thor just throwing hammers and yeah. nuking people. And I had to run back through like half a floor to collect everything afterwards. And it was right. insane. It was so fun. Toriast is. I don't even know if I care about the rest of the expansion. Right? Like that's just going to carry me through. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure. It's crazy. Yeah, and like you saying amazing. that, like the prop paladin thing. So I'm like, think whenever I did prop paladin, um, I don't even know if they had every, everything added in yet, but I remember, whatever build I ended up getting, I had like basically infinite holy power. So I, my, I was just pressing my shield of the righteous and just like mm-hmm. hey, it, the entire dungeon, I was pressing this off global thing, just Avenger shielding and shield of the righteous, just smacking things with my shield, just blasting through. Oh so yeah. Funny. Cause you yeah. can get that. Like, uh, it's like a holy power, like every second or every couple yeah. of seconds or something. Yeah. And then like, you can get like refunds and like, oh, dude, it's just, that place is crazy. I think I've, when you asked the like the craziest one that I remember, one that came to mind is the that has a havoc demon hunter one time where it's like it, there's a lot of meta uh, like when you're in meta interactions. So mm-hmm. like you can basically be in meta forever. You move super fast. You're a giant. You're like three hundred percent bigger. You move like super fast. Your fell now your fell rush like doubles your speed. It's it's like it doesn't even. It's like a blur. Like you just don't. You're not even playing the same game. It's so fun. Yeah, so I just, I was doing the um, remember the warrior where he consistently gets blade storm, just like just <laughs> yeah. sitting in blade. Like I was literally just running around at full speed, just blade storming for like <laughs> a minute straight. Just and then it would be it would be up, and then it just blade storm again the whole fucking time, <laughs> like all the way through. And what's crazy about Torghast is I just did this last night as I was going through trying to find a bunch of streams because I want to try to put together a little compilation. But I was I was look, going through a bunch of streams and I found people's like first time in Torghast and things. And there's this I, there's this giant compilation I want to put together where at the end of when they they end their first run, it's their reaction and I don't think I've ever heard this type of reaction uh. ever. It's where anytime something ends, like they get the floor six, they get the floor, whatever, the, the, whenever they stop it. And they're like, oh, fuck, that sucks. I want to keep going. <laughs> yeah. You know, like never happens in World of Warcraft where everyone's always just like they're they're more upset that they can't keep playing rather than, oh, I got to do that again. You know, the right. typical mm-hmm. World of Warcraft, I got to do that again. The fucking Torghast is every single stream that I've seen. If you look at the first time they leave or they uh, they get to the next port or whatever, they're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I, I don't want to stop. <laughs> like five floors. Dude, I was like this close, like to building this totally sick combo. Yeah, it's like <laughs> so awesome. 
And even yeah. like, uh, so I did, I did, I've just done the, the three and the first one I did, I was like, okay, I'm in the group. The second one was that insane avenging wrath one. And the third one, honestly, my anime powers just weren't adding up. And it oh. like, it wasn't that it wasn't fun, but it like, I was just coming off that high of like that avenging wrath run. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is like, I got through and at least in beta, you have to do a bunch of quests where you just run five floors and then you're done and you run five right. floors and you're done. And so I got to the end of that one. And even when I got to the end, I was like, you know, if I could have gone like five, 10 more floors, I might've got some synergies going and this run. Yeah. Yeah. Could have gotten might have. Yep. There were a few runs that we did though, where when we were duo, we walked into that fucking place and we weren't going anywhere. Yeah, we man. weren't killing a mob. We <laughs> weren't literally going anywhere because we were slowed. So like for whatever, re- I'm, they took that shit out of the game, but right. you were just slowed, literally just slowed the whole time. You were walking around. <laughs> Is that the torment was, stuff? That was like, uh, it was like right when we got in beta, like Torghast was like the first thing we did. I think like scaling was all like everything was off about Torghast. Oh. And then like they, we just got like weird RNG where like every time we went in there, there were certain mobs that just slowed you and it stacked and like it's just every time we went in there, I was like, "What? What's going on? Every are we just unlucky or what's going on?" Yeah, it was it was crazy. And I think they've like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm I'm like remembering it. There's a particular enemy. It doesn't move and it slows you. And if you don't interrupt them or like kill them, they just keep casting it to you on you over and over again. Oh yeah, I got that in my first run. Yeah, <laughs> yep, but. But like, Torghast still, is a blast now. Yeah, there, yeah, but that we was like we so we basically would we ran in. We we're like, oh, this one again. Okay, so we'd run out, reset it, run back in. All right, now we're good. <laughs> and then we would go through, and it would be a blast again. I'm also That's all about those pet rats in uh, in Torghast. You're like, come on, the mall buddy. rats. Yep. We're gonna blow up like eight people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a cool little little addition. Does um yeah. this Torghast um like the little that you've played it, does that make you, or anything else in the expansion so far, does it make you a little more hopeful for Shadowlands than than BFA left you? Uh, you know, for me, like, there were a lot of problems with Battle for Azeroth. I mean, coming off Legion with the artifact weapon, I felt like the classes just were in a pretty solid place. And I honestly, yeah. like, my expectations were, oh, they're going to bake a lot of this in, and we're going to roll into BFA. And they're going to take it to the next level. And what did they do? They just like stripped it all out. And we're like, you know what? Here's this garbage. And by the way, about a third of the way into leveling, this garbage is going to start to smell. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you know, and so like, like, it just didn't feel good. And then, uh, you know, like, come on, like the Azerite system, like all that stuff. There's, you know, we've... The WoW community, we've been over this a million times, but on a yeah. personal level, I have also just never cared about the Horde versus Alliance like thing, like right. ever. And so it was cool to go to Zandalar and go to Kul Tiras. Well, just like throughout the whole expansion, I was like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, we're all going to come together and, you know, we're going to beat the bad guy anyway. Like, how are we rehashing this again? And I mean, I look at Shadowlands and it's like just, just just the environments like have you seen how many new races they've put into the game with yeah, just right. this expansion that aren't just like reskins of old ones like it's, it's insane the amount of yeah. new stuff that they're coming up with and it feels like we're getting to experience something in world of warcraft that if you've been playing since vanilla like it, this is something i was telling my stream you know i feel like as someone who's been playing since vanilla that just on the lore side and the visuals and these new races, like I'm actually getting to have that. Oh, wow. Moment with a lot of this stuff that I haven't had in a long time yeah. because it's just another jungle in Zandalar or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. This, that like they're, they're just going to town. They're just like, you know what? <laughs> we're doing stuff that we couldn't do on Azeroth because we're literally not on Azeroth. So here we go. <laughs> what this crazy thing and this crazy thing and this crazy thing. Yeah, sure. It makes sense in the lore. We promise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll make sense if you don't think about it. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. So yeah. like gameplay aside, just that aspect has me super excited. Like having gone through and checked out the classes, I think for the most part at their core, they don't feel all that different from BFA. 
um, just kind of across right, the, right. the board without adding the bells and whistles of, of legendaries and conduits and soul binds and Torghast powers and all that stuff. So for me, it's not like a drastic shakeup. I don't feel like, oh, this is this is something new and exciting. It's like, OK, this is it's kind of what we've had. Yeah, um, yeah I feel but that. just that aspect of not even the gameplay stuff has me more excited uh, than I've been in a little while. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I, I feel like if um, because I I, I kind of get I've sort sort of unfortunate, but I've went gone ahead and gotten my hopes up <laughs> for uh for Shadowlands. I may, I've mm. been making some bold predictions. It's kind of like bold predictions. Yeah, a little bold. It's what are like, the hot uh, takes? I haven't heard these. What are they? Okay, so so my my prediction, I got a I got a message pinned in in uh in one of my discords, like making a bet about it. But basically, if it, and I said I said this, dude, I, like back when I don't even know before we even got alpha, I think. But if they fix, if they make, well, how did I say it? If they make the covenants abilities, like the damage abilities that you get to choose between the covenants, mm-hmm. if they fix that and like unlock those. This will be the best expansion since Wrath. That's my my bold prediction. That's what that's what I got because and I I really liked Legion, but there were a lot of things wrong with Legion. And from my point of view, this is just Legion 2.0, where they're like like the worst parts of Legion for me were legendary RNG, mm-hmm. Titan forging, and like the AP grind. And then they're yes. like, all right, no more Titan forging. Uh, no more AP grind, and now you get to pick your legendary. So it's like, whoa, okay. Did you guys? <laughs> do you? Uh, it really you, makes makes you think. You don't have to grind rep to get pathfinding. Yeah. You know yep. how many pathfinding achievements I have? <laughs> oh God, none of them. <laughs> none. You know why? Because I hate rep grinding more than anything in this entire game, and I just yeah. refuse to do it. And I. Part of the reason, and you know, it's like, well, don't That's you just funny. get that by playing your character? I play 12 characters like super <laughs> actively and I'm not rep grinding, you know, that much. I just don't play the character like enough to rep grind on it. You know, yep. it, like that time rep grinding, I'm like, I could be trying a different class. I could be trying a different spec, a different talent bill. I could be doing this. Yeah. And so I don't have a single pathfinding thing, but this time they're like, you know what? It's going to be tied to renown. It's going to be tied to your covenant. This thing you're going to want to do anyway, because it actually unlocks new gameplay stuff. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm in finally. Yeah. I'll have one. Right. They even got a solution for that. That's why I feel like they might, they might get something, you know, the covenant thing might, you know, go down in flames a little bit. Uh, something is they gonna, going handle to. It. Yeah. But I feel like they're they're solving they're like learning from so many mistakes. It seems like especially from BFA, um, but a like little Legion late. too. That like <laughs> there's gonna be something in the game for everybody where they're like, oh my god, thank God, you know, where they're like, oh, I get to, I don't have to worry about Pathfinder, I don't have to worry about this. Torghast is amazing. I don't need anything else. Torghast is dope. Like people who like roguelike stuff. Boom, Torghast. Mythic Plus is probably gonna be improved because of how bad it was in BFA. Mythic Plus is gonna be better. It's like rating might be better. The like the the raid so far looks amazing like it looks cool gearing is better transmogs are better like yeah oof. they're just Tech like battles ratcheting are getting up upgraded professions actually have an item that people are gonna want yeah they're yes, like and man i'm the, like it's, oh. yeah it's, it's, i'm really excited i'm my, the thing that i'm mainly excited about is that it seems like what they're trying to do is or at least for most of the classes is they're trying to make the base class really good and then adding additional things on top of that and that's what we've been saying for fucking ever dude ever since Mm -hmm. legion we're just it's just like make the base class good and then add some little trickleys on top right a little bit on top and it seems like that's what they're doing. Like whenever someone there, you know, like uh, one of the good examples was a uh, fire mage. It's just like, well, uh, we're, we're going to take this away. Tell us what you think. And we're like, no, 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 no. That's dog okay. shit. <laughs> yeah, that, that's dog shit. We don't like this at all. And they're like, oh, well, it's back. Literally yeah. back. Yeah. You guys got it. And it's shit like that is just it, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Now, there are a few classes that are. You know, that mm-hmm. still need yep. some real work. But uh, I feel like I feel like what they're doing with the base gameplay is awesome. I feel like what they're doing uh, right now, th- like thematically, like being able to like aside from the soul bind issues, I think the covenants are absolutely fucking fantastic. The idea I think, is like, 
they're kind of like um the class order halls that from legion and i loved the class or dude when i walk first time i ever walked in to the rogue class order hall i lost my fucking mind i was <laughs> yeah. like it was behind a door in a gallery it was here the whole time <laughs> like it was i lost my fucking mind dude yep yeah, I, I think the covenants are are great. And, you know, the, I know one of the conversations going around, it, you know, ties into the the covenant abilities, right? Like, what do you do with those? Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's kind of like, I don't know, there's like, I feel like there's two sides to this, right? You got the one side that's like, no, it needs to be an RPG choice and you should commit to this choice and that's it. And that's done. And like, I get that side. And then there's the other side that's like, well, no, I want to pick the ability that's, that's best for my class. Yeah. I'm like somewhere in the middle on this where like, I don't really care if I'm locked into the ability. I don't really care if I'm like min maxing, but like, I just don't like the mix of some of them, you know, like sometimes I'm like, yo, that plate set, that Necrolord plate set is looking dope as hell. Yeah. But that paladin like throw divine shields everywhere ability the Kyrian's got <laughs> yeah. is the best thing they've added to the game <laughs> oh, so in, I don't know how long <laughs> like so wh- why can't i i just want to that's i want to pick the transmog covenant you know what i mean and like Dude. pick the ability that's fun that i like that matches my gameplay because maybe i'm not the mathy ability person who's like yes let me do this thing that's gonna increase my dps by 15 percent if i get this rotation right like no i just yeah. throw shields everywhere <laughs> yeah um, dude that's exactly the solution we've been saying like that that we want um i feel like we, we're kind of like all coming at it from like a slightly different angle and like we're arriving at the same conclusion like i i come from like super min max town you know, like I, everything I do is min max, but I want stuff to feel good too. So it's like not at all a hundred percent. Um, and I'm cool with like your covenant, uh, like you had to choose a covenant, but you're, it's just the ability, like the main ability, you can still swap it like a talent. Every, ev- everything else can be locked. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you yep. can be a necro Lord, everything. And that's all locked. You only have those soul bonds to choose from. And you have to use the, you know, the shield signature ability thing. But I can still use, you know, the Paladin Divine Toll if I want to. You know what I mean? Like that feels like the perfect solution. Like you appease both both sides, but I don't know. Maybe yeah, you know what even... I've been thinking too? Something else. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, so what I've been thinking recently is, you know how I've, I constantly say uh, the, the real only, the only real problem with the whole Soulbind thing was all, everyone agrees it's that ability, that ability should be picked, the main class ability, their signature ability is what they're calling it. Um, like that should be that should be something that's on like a like an uh, essence type thing where you just you know select whichever one you want whenever you want to. But I still like as I was thinking about it, I was going back through it, and I'm like, it it doesn't feel equal being Venthyr when you're a mage or a priest. Like that ability that you get is fucking useless on it's a mage. Bad. Mm, it's so right? bad, and it's broken for a priest. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, like, I don't understand like that type of combo. It's like, like if I'm picking, um, uh, and let's even think through the same class, right? If I'm picking, uh, uh, I don't know, monk or something and like Venthyr is again, absolutely fucking useless, like a hundred percent useless. And, but if I'm Necro Lord, it's like, that's useless. If I'm a tank, I don't know. Like, I, I, I think it's more oh, useful yeah. as a DPS, but like that's useless as a tank. But then if I want to be a healer, it's like that shield might be pretty dope. But it's like there's another. I don't know. I, I don't know if I like any of the abilities, even the covenant abilities. I don't know if I even like them being strictly covenant because they just don't feel the same for each each class or even each spec in the class. And it's right. it, I don't know if it seems yeah, real, it, real weird. That's that's where I was kind of go going to go with this is like for me, I think they should like decouple the class abilities from the covenants and like I get it. You've already invested the art resources and everything. Necro Lord is green. Who cares? Right. Like <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, but I also think that the like core covenant ability should just be like pure like utility fluff, you know, kind of like if you look at the one 
for Night Fae, right? You just turn into like a glowy little little puppy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, yep. you just run around yeah. and you can teleport and stuff. And it's like that's a cool ability. It doesn't do anything to your DPS. Like I don't yeah. know. Maybe you can get into some min max shenanigans and I don't know, run faster in a raid fight. <laughs> I don't. You know what I mean? But it's like that's like so far out there. Yeah. Um. But then you look at like the Kyrian one. Like that's yeah. You get like a flask and I don't know. I just think like that ability should not be cosmetic but just something that's like off to the side like one of the cool racial abilities that doesn't affect combat like you can make a camp (laughs) right and don't you don't you guys feel like it does more for the game i don't know like i'm I'm starting to get because preach said in the the interview he he had mentioned that um it does more for the game being able to switch your um you know the for the lore being able to be like hey i'm kiri and i want to work with the venthyr and then there could be a cool quest with how you work with the venthyr and then now you're part of you know now it's like a combo thing and whatever so he was saying that's cool in that direction i think it's cool mechanically for the game to give people the option like it's like oh this fight i can use the teleport this fight i can use the shield this fight i can be the the puppy that portals around a little bit this you know like or if i'm questing or something i can be the puppy because now i'm moving faster constantly and shit like that or um you know (laughs) death knights what (laughs) yeah exactly exactly and it's like it really feels like it would add so much to the game so much more it would be so much more dynamic and you would feel like you're making choices based on what you're doing i'm I'm starting to really really turn my back on this whole you have to be stuck (laughs) in these abilities i'm cool with the soul binds again i'm cool with the soul binds being stuck with them as long as they balance them correctly with you know three dps each one and shit like that um and i'm i'm cool with you being stuck in your covenant because it does make sense that if i want to be a paladin or, or a monk i can just choose you know what i do like this red fucking theme or i do want to be mm-hmm. an edge lord and be on the uh you know the the necro and or maldraxxus whatever all that shit like I, i'm cool with all that but when it comes to the abilities i feel like you take you take a big part of the game away from people when you only give it to a few Right. It's like you could be making these big decisions like based on the content that you're doing. And I feel like that's that that kind of lessens a little bit when they don't allow you to pick them. No, that's that's so true. And like there's another layer. Like what if you don't just play one spec? You know, like true. At that point, you're locked into a covenant where you're like, you know what? What I play is prop warrior and I like this necro lord shield for tanking. And that's great. And then you're like, okay, now I'm fury. Now what? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, exactly. You wouldn't rather exactly. have like a teleport or something to, you yeah. know, or, or whatever. And then it gets that. even like, worse with the, the fucking signature abilities, dude. Like that pisses, yeah. like, oh, don't yeah. even get me. St- like, that pisses me off so bad that there's literally like some specs that get so much value. And then you just swap to your other spec and it's dog shit. Awful. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I can't stand that. And then, and then, so yeah, you got the different specs um and then if you like if for some weird reason you like the game enough to raid but also mythic plus but also pvp there's <laughs> no chance in hell the same build is going to be the same in all three of those things At you know what all. I mean? like, yep. there's no, no way so it's like the fact that you can't change you're like what's the word gimping yourself that that sounds weird but you're you're limiting yourself in one of those avenues so like if you want to be good like you just can't you just can't you don't have a choice you have to be bad in one of those avenues it's just like what like i can live with passives or you, you know? just don't do the other shit and that's also bad for yeah. the game you just can't do or you, you know? have to have like a- if you're stuck in pvp and you're just like fuck it i'm just gonna pvp i'm not even gonna look at the raids or mythic plus or anything and that's horrible that is absolutely mm. horrible. And the, the and the other solution is even worse, which is just have multiple uh, of the same class. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> when you when you have people who really want to be at the top, the people who stream and get the most views, let, you know, let's be honest, the people who get the eyeballs for the game are the people who do like that the top can- content. That's just kind of how it is, it seems. Um, and if they're if, if I don't know, like C do is playing four different restoration shamans <laughs> like that's not a good look man you know like that's oh not good my God. and they're all saying the same thing you know like the the world first raiders are all like yeah so i 
like you can play alts in this expansion, but your alts have to be a repeat of your main. <laughs> so it's like kind of weird. Like it's actually alt friendly, but it's not main friendly. <laughs> Which is like, well, can you ooh, imagine? Oh my god, you deep. just coined that shit. Yeah, that's deep. Damn. I did. <laughs> I want to know. Isn't main I just made that Holy up. Holy shit! I just made that up right now. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a, know. you know, but the good thing is you're going to be able to level those alts faster, right? Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys played the new starting experience? I'm going to segue yeah. this yeah. off yeah, this yeah. topic. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's fun. What do you think? What do you think? I liked it a lot. The, I mean, uh, like, so go ahead. Well, I was going to say I was. Uh, how do I how do I long story short this? I was feeling like super like i need a rpg right now and mm-hmm. um i did i messed with classic and that like scratched that itch pretty well but like i came back to wow and i was like man what's what's the closest thing to have on live or you know beta or whatever to like an R- rpg where you start at zero your character sucks and you gain abilities and you level up you do this experience that's kind of cool and i did that and i was like this is what it is yeah this is this, this is, is it <laughs> this is what the rpg of wow is you start out with nothing and you go on an adventure you gain abilities you blah 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 and then you do a dungeon at the like it was so it encapsulated like that feeling so well i feel like and it's all updated yeah. and everything i liked it a lot dude you beat the shit out of private coal you then fucking get tossed <laughs> onto an island and then you have to like run through the island and this bitch is like yo no 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 use your frost nova your frost <laughs> nova and you're like okay i'm gonna use my frost nova <laughs> it's like go fight this bear fight i'm going to fight the bear <laughs> don't try it's, to get oh up close God. and moon fire me don't do that i'm like man <laughs> yeah, i'm yeah, pvp no, yeah. <laughs> vanilla and bc i know what i'm doing with moon fire get yeah, out of here <laughs> they use some blizzard magic and they're like all right now you're in a raid and or, or, or a dungeon and this, you got your group and these are your healers and you're just like oh shit and now you're all nervous and you got to do it right and then you finish it and you kill the dragon and you feel so good about yourself <sighs> Yeah, I've got I've got every experience. class at max level, except uh, I think my priest is like almost 119 because it's just my least played class. It's a struggle. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. especially with poor shadow the way it is. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I played through that experience and I was like, I want to make alts. <laughs> right. Oh, and, for uh, sure. Yeah. That's yeah, how poor so, feels too. It's like right? I just want to play other other things. It's so awesome. And uh. When you were um when you were doing the level through like the the rate at you gained levels was awesome right like yeah, it was the like pace like was great. yeah it was awesome yeah the pace was good and like the the island and the content was just like you know it's got that BFA Shadowlands era just polish and to yeah. think that like a new player is gonna go from that straight into BFA which while not maybe like everyone's favorite expansion like just thinking it as a level gap you know from that starter experience into shadowlands probably not going to be all that bad and uh you know like the- i mean if you think about just a war campaign that wasn't too bad like the war campaign right. kind of kept its pace and and um as a as a zone it's gorgeous too so i, I don't think bfa for a leveling spot from 50 to 60 is, is bad at all or no, not 50 I, to 60 I, it's uh, from 1 to 50 I've got a buddy who 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 keeps trying to play WoW. You know, we've all got those buddies. I'm assuming, Uh, yeah. But like, they're not they're not hardcore. He's not a hardcore player. You know, he hasn't been playing WoW since you know whatever 2004, 2005. He just kind of jumps in, floats in and out. And I played that starting experience, and I was like, dude, this is what's going to get him to play WoW for longer than like two hours. Hundred percent. And what's cool, um, is uh is that the rate at which you're leveling means that now you can have the four classes that you need to have for your covenants. And it takes about the same time that it took one, one all to level. <laughs> exactly. So now no problems, right? Blizzard made a solution. We're just going to make leveling faster. So when you have four classes that you need to level, you're good. Hey, Wait. you know, if it works, then it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's how they're going to, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I think that the, the covenant abilities is kind of like the last big picture piece of the puzzle that they need to figure out. And one of the things that 
you know, I, I mentioned just like the the story and art and, you know, the world of Shadowlands kind of having me excited. But honestly, the way that everything went down with Torghast was another thing that just really boosted my confidence in the expansion and, and got me excited because, <clears throat> you know, when Torghast came out, everybody knew what the potential problems were going to be, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you're not going to let us run this enough. We're going to have to grind to run this thing three weeks or three yeah. times a week. Uh, you know, you're going to gate it off. It's going to be limited dog shit content to do the right. good content. Yeah. And, and so that was one of the big issues. And then when they were like, you know, we want to keep people from stopping in between mobs and, you know, waiting for their cooldown. So we're going to put <laughs> in this torment system and everybody was just like, no, don't do this. Blizzard, listen <laughs> to us for once. Okay. Like just let us run it as much as we want. Don't put this stupid system in. If people want to take five minutes between pools, let them. Yep. I don't care. Yep, That's I their agree. time. I don't have that kind of time. I'm going to, I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to keep pushing. Cause you know, for me, like, like that time is a factor too, for like how well I'm doing. And they actually just straight up listened and they didn't yeah. just listen. They did exactly what we were asking them to do. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what is going on? Right. Me and Zach keep praising them so much for that. Like we praise them so much. And we're just like, we keep saying over and over, we're like, listen, listen, if they like, there's one more little yeah. thing that they have to do just one little tiny thing and this expansion is going to be fucking fantastic yep and Which that's it it's the, it's the covenants. figure out the covenant abilities because yep like at the end of the day like if you want me to commit to a choice of a covenant i'm not going to be that upset about it i'm going to figure it out but oh, we're going to play it yeah yeah like it's just gonna it's it's I don't know. It's going to be that like burr, like, you know, on your leg or whatever. That's just like right. sitting there and you're just like, like, this could have been better. Like, why am I, you know, having to play this ability with this spe- specialization or, you know, like it's it's right. it's going to feel bad. It already feels bad when like because I've been going through and testing, you know, every class, every specialization with the different covenant abilities and it's everything we've said already. And they just need to, this is like the final thing. Like just come yep. up. Listen, have that. you been doing uh, tanks as well? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the, the tank balance right now? Cause I've been uh, going pretty hard with the tanks and trying to figure out like where they stand between each other and been testing the raids and stuff on them and, you know, doing like the, all dungeons and, and shit like that. I know Max hates prot warrior right now and <laughs> but like what do you think about all that i like prot warrior and a lot of people like are gonna get upset when i give my little review on on prot warrior because it is not what everyone else thinks yeah so i kind of come from a little bit of a, a different perspective i think like the majority of the content that i try to make on my channel is for people that are like either totally new to the game totally new to the class or totally new to the specialization right um i kind of like spawned my content out of how bad the boosted character tutorials were (laughs) oh right i was like hey if you want to boost a character and actually know what the heck you're doing uh, you can watch one of these videos and i'll just assume that you don't have a clue what's going on because i didn't sometimes and and i'm going to build that out so Right now, when I go around and I just kind of have been testing things, I've just been trying to get a general like feel like does the does the rotation still feel pretty fluid? Do I feel mm-hmm. like, you know, if I'm just getting out there to like quest and do world quest or level or, you know, whatever it may be, like, does it feel like my class is just struggling? Do they feel overpowered? Do they feel fun? Yeah. Do they have enough buttons to push? Um, if you don't want to push buttons, do they have enough ways for you to still get done what you need to get done? And Dude. honestly, like as far as tank goes, uh, like I'm kind of like, what did they do with vengeance? Like that's that's the first place to start. Like, <laughs> why why do we have fury? Um, <laughs> I I don't know if it's a bug or something, but like I and I I don't think it was because like I'm just not generating fury by taking damage. It looks like yeah. you got to build it all up yourself, you like Fury, yeah, you don't. You and don't then spend it. And that's just super weird uh, coming off of playing Vengeance. Um, I mostly played Prot Warrior in BFA, and I don't know. It, like, 
at that level, it feels basically the same. Um, I'm sure like as you as you push into it and you start messing around with talent builds and stuff like that, I, I know like the discrepancies really start to show up. But I got on I got on Blood DK and I wasn't even paying attention. And I think I accidentally pulled like six or seven things plus an elite and was just like didn't even care. <laughs> it didn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is Blood DK. And yeah. um yeah. Yeah, I kind of built yeah, up, uh, kind of built up monk a little bit in my own in my head because they I I read some of the changes that were coming for monks and I got really excited. I was like, I can spinning crane kick and just throw fire all over the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I played it. And I was like, this does not feel as cool as it sounded. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I went through a whirlwind with the monk, dude. I, I I first was like, I was like, oh, I don't like it when I was hitting dummies and stuff. I'm like, this is dog shit. And then I went and did a dungeon and I was like, oh, this is the best tank ever. And I just raided on it yesterday. And I was like, this doesn't feel good at all. <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm going through a fucking whirlwind, dude. I don't know what to think about monk. But uh, Demon Hunter is fun in absolutely every piece of content right now. Spear yeah. Bomb and Fracture are fucking insane talents. I love them so much. But, but and, listen, don't okay. don't they feel mandatory? Yes, they are. There is right. no, or don't they? They 100% <laughs> are mandatory. If yeah. you pick anything else other than Spear Bomb and Fac- Fracture, you are not playing a Demon Hunter. You are playing something else. Yeah. Like, that like, is like what are you, not, that what is are not you what they are. Fury on? It's yeah. like I did the original like testing. I just jumped in and, you know, they got all the talents picked out to the left. And I'm like, let's just let's just see. They're all passive, whatever talents. And I play and I was like, what am I even doing? I'm like <laughs> building up fury super slow. I'm not getting it from taking damage. And and then yeah. I'm just like casting fell devastation, which has yeah. a, like 45 second cooldown or something ridiculous. Yeah, right. Like, what? And then I got spirit bomb and I was like, oh, the world makes sense again. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, Spirit Bomb yeah. is 100% mandatory. That's what's going on, like, because Vengeance is, like, super fun, and, like, I think Jim's, like, literally making a video on it, like, in the next couple of days, so, like, we kind of we yep. have been talking about it a lot, but um, a, a video that I just did recently, like, I spent a lot of time on Red Paladin. Yeah. Um, I like what they did with the Red Paladin because the, 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 the crux of what they did is, like, hey, you know all those cool talents that you like in BFA? Yeah, all like all of There's them are so baseline. Many buttons. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, all of them are baseline, and you're happy yeah. about that because they were cool. And we put cool replacements in there. With the, it's just like that's what they need to do with vengeance, man. Like it, it feels yes. good. Red, you take the good stuff, make it baseline, come up with some, come up with new stuff. That's yes. what you need to do with vengeance. You have the cool stuff, really the mandatory stuff. Spirit bomb and fracture <laughs> baseline. Come up with cool, cooler stuff. It's like get yeah, rid that of same, same problem, problem solved. Fucking useless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like you gotta lean. Out, lean out of demon spikes or lean into it. You're in a weird middle ground yeah, right now. Weird, it yeah, doesn't make yeah. sense. And yeah, give us I mean, darkness, please. True. Get, get, getting on, getting on red paladin. I was like, what is going on? Like, I literally have a full action bar of stuff <laughs> that I can just press in a normal rotation that isn't on like a one two minute cooldown. This is yep. amazing. There's a lot. Have you tried like, the um the prot warrior uh, um? Uh, what is it? Uh, Dragon's Roar Ravager build? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh like my said. god, dude. You, you <laughs> charge in. All right, let me just tell you what you do. You charge in, right? And you drop your Ravager. You demo shout because you got the talent that makes everything take more damage. So Obviously. you demo shout and then you <laughs> Dragon's Roar and you just spam revenge. You don't hit another goddamn button. You just <laughs> spam revenge. And anyone who's telling, trying to tell me that Pro Warrior isn't fun has not fucking tried that build. <laughs> it is insane. Every minute you charge in like you're a goddamn DP, you, like a prop paladin. You just charge in and it's like you have wings every time. Oh, and you have <laughs> Avatar. And you have fucking Avatar. Yeah. Oh, and charge I saw, in Avatar. Like, fucking, oh, and everything blows up. It is so good. I don't. I don't know if it's going to actually end up being a good legendary. But I was just looking at the the warrior ones, and they have the. Uh, They've got the one. Uh, what's the so you got Avatar, Blade Storm, and Recklessness? I think are like the big yeah. cooldowns for the different specs. And they have the one legendary that's like when you cast one of those, you randomly cast one of the other ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like oh, I could just see that. That's like hilarious. exactly what you were talking about. But you go in and you're like Avatar, 
blade storm like, <laughs> on top of everything else. It's yeah. So awesome. Uh, yeah, there's some. Wait, good, hold on. Some I, let me understand this because I didn't see this legendary. Does that mean that yeah, a pro warrior that. can start blade storming? Yeah, it's like random. I think it might have been at like a reduced effectiveness. I can't remember, but yeah, out of those two, it's like whenever you cast one of them, which you only have access to one of them, uh, it'll randomly cast one of the other two. Bro, if I was a prop <laughs> warrior and I got forced into blade storming, and then you get critically hit by a boss because you no longer can <laughs> parry, dodge, or anything, that would fucking be t- that would be so strange. <laughs> You guys what need you need you need funniest wow moments. So that's what that's <laughs> yeah, just what you gotta do that for is the video. Yeah, yeah. I did a I did a dungeon um the other day with an arms warrior that I think had that. Because they have um because they can have Avatar as a talent and then they have Bladestorm baseline, obviously. So mm. yeah, we did we did some big pack and he was like we you know looked at the damage breakdown afterwards. We were like, hey, what are you cheating or like he's like yeah so i pressed avatar and it proc blade storm and then after that i pressed blade storm and it proc avatar so i don't know what to tell you <laughs> nice. it's just good rng that's insane, <laughs> that's so insane so dude. i was just spinning the whole time and it was great so that's what i'm trying to say is that there's so many people who are hating on pro right now and and i really feel like i'm not gonna say max didn't try all this shit because obviously he tries all this shit or whatever But like, I really feel like that they just are used to a certain play style that's in BFA. And since it's switched over now in Shadowlands, that they're, you know, it's a little jarring. So they're not Mm -hmm. used to that. And they're just saying that it's bad. That will dude. not only are they like they used to Prot Warrior. A lot of the people who are talking about it are MDI tanks where you only play Prot Warrior and you are the every single one of them is the best Prot Warrior in the world. They've played it a million hours a day with all these crazy synergies from Borrowed Power and whatever. Yeah. This is like the most specific Prot Warrior build of all mm. time and they're playing it all day every day. If it changed even a little bit, they'd be like, what? This isn't even the safe spec. This is horrible. Yeah, yeah, so the fact that Blizzard's like, hey, we know that play style is cool, but we do not want that play that we don't want that to be prop warrior. So we're forcing you into a play style that we want. And they're like, no, prop warrior is so good. It's like, yeah, but we're going a different direction. Sorry. And yeah, I, I, do, think I, you, it is. I want everyone right now listening. There's about three of you. I want everyone <laughs> listening to 100 percent go try Dragon Roar, Ravager and with avatar and demo shout and tell me that is not fun put it on your mouth wheel it doesn't matter it's just it's insane it is insane and then I've, with st- like, I've still got the the deep dive for warrior to do so i'm gonna do that but i'm gonna grab that legendary too and just throw that into the mix. oh my yeah. god dude and that's dude, gonna be so funny dude you could have the uh the kyrian covenant ability the spear of bastion it's just another aoe fucking black just yeah. AOE yeah. blast yeah. that roots just, them in there. Oh my. It's going to be so know, fun, dude. I, I was testing that ability and I would literally just throw it on enemies and walk away and then just look <laughs> at them. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just stuck. It's so good. If I, if I, oh my God, if I can't switch to that, like I'm playing a warrior and I did, you know, I did a single target boss where I don't want that. You know, I want to execute one and then I go into a dungeon and I can't take Spear of Bastion, dude. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Let me let yep. me have yep. it. Yep, 100%. I'm going to be mad. So bad. Or if I'm doing a single target boss no one, and I'm stuck with that. Yeah, no one talks about like like the uh like the conduits. Like no one no one's mentioning how I mean maybe they do and I just haven't heard it enough about changing specs them them not being like relics or whatever. Like you change your spec and you lose your conduit. Like I know they're they're making it so that you get it back now, but like mm-hmm. that like when that to me seems a little fucking weird is that you know you have this whole tree of your soul bind like completely filled out and then you change your spec and it's a useless soul bind yeah yeah jim we're right, we're that's... light years ahead dude people aren't people aren't <laughs> on our layer there yet they haven't, yeah true, they haven't true. Thought of, we're 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 ahead of our ahead of our time dude because that's, that's like true. and they're gonna add the ranks yeah because it will oh yeah yeah it's for the exact, conduits exactly yeah, yep. yeah but the what Jim was just saying, where you change specs and your conduit, your conduits don't change with your spec. That's oh, literally, gotcha, yeah. literally the <laughs> same problem as Azerite traits. It's the exact same thing. They could have, and they just don't. You know, you change yep. from beast mastery to marksmanship, 
it could just change to the marksmanship ones that you picked earlier, you know, while you were marksmanship. And it just remembers and swaps back and forth when you change specs. But they just said, nah, we don't want that. And that was terrible because, I mean, Azerite was terrible. But that was te- a terrible part of Azerite. And now they have it in conduits. And, and nobody's, better, right? nobody's brought that up yet because people, you, you don't really do that, you know, on beta. Like, it's not mm. a worry. You just have infinite conduits and... You know, whatever. Well, you didn't have to grind them yourself. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so that's something, that, and you have to. This wouldn't really be an issue if you could change your conduits anywhere, but you got to be in your, you got to be at that little right. thing. So like, that's not, that's not the play, dude. That, that's another. That's like another layer deep where it's like I can live with it if they don't do that because it'll be like Azerite. You can just you can make it work. You go back to your little sanctum and change your conduits if you need to, but like. Why don't you just make it but remember? Even if they make it easy. Yeah, yeah. Because it, even if just, they do make it easy where like you hit your tome and you're in the middle of a pull or, right, or about to pull or something, you hit your tome and you're just like, I'm going to change my spec. I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to, uh, you know, change whatever. Like the fact that you have to remember to like, like to then go in and change every single one of those. <laughs> that's so dumb. Like yeah. that is just, I mean, it, again, it's. It's better than them getting destroyed. Well, <laughs> like you know, that was even worse. <laughs> yeah, that was but, ridiculous. <laughs> well, so the reason why I feel like most people haven't experienced this or thought about this is because the reason the option they keep giving is like, all right, so you're you're if you may play multiple specs, just set up one soul bind for BM, another soul bind for marksmanship. And oh, so that's not how that whenever, works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like no. wait, but you made a DPS soul bind and a not DPS soul bind. Why would I? Yeah, no, why no, would a I DPS use a... soul bind and two not DPS soul binds. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> wait, so you want me to be worse? Like, I don't. What's going on here? So yeah, they soul, keep giving soul that. Binds, yeah, soul binds. I I, I got to get around to. I I remember uh, before beta, I kind of looked through some of the the soul bind trees that we had kind of like data mined that showed the like non-conduit things that you could pick. And I actually was pretty impressed by some of the options that were in there, mainly because um, I'm definitely not a fan of like 10% increased damage on this, you know, right, like yeah. that kind of like I, I've been saying for forever now, like um, that I want, if you're going to give me borrowed power, I want it to drastically change the way that I play, right? I don't I don't want borrowed power that makes my fireball 20% stronger. I want yeah. borrowed power that makes my fireball hit four people. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, something yeah, yeah. nuts or it turns it into a fire tornado or, you know, <laughs> yeah, something, exactly. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting. And so I was kind of worried that the Soulbind system was just going to be, you know, just those straight up little boring like stat increases. And... It, a lot of what I saw at the time, and I don't know how much has changed since then, was actually just like kind of interesting, neat utility sort of stuff, you know? Most of them, yeah. Most of them. The and problem I, I think that the, that's a good in between. A, some of them did say, like, just straight up you get 4% increased damage or 2% increased damage or whatever. And it's like, it's hard because you want, like, the soul binds, I get it, but it's so. What Zach's solution to the whole soul bind debacle is that you just make it so that if there is any damage increase on any of the trees, that you just make sure that every tree has something that's equivalent to that damage increase, right? Every single one. And then also make it so that if you can put three potency, which is the damage one, potency, um, relics, gems, what are they called? Conduits. Con- yeah. Conduits, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Potency conduits in there that you make sure that every single one of those dudes has a row, a line that you travel down that can put three in. It's like, yep. it's uh, that shit is not rocket science. And I don't know. I, I think that that's the way that you make it. So, all right, now we can just go th- like you were just saying that we can just go through like the little utilities. The, do I want, you know, do I want my um, Venthyr teleport to be, you know, 2% or I get 8% increased speed after it or for like six or whatever the fuck it is, 80% or something. And then like, or do I want my Necrolord shield to like, you know, explode and do a little fucking everything around me is slowed a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like those type of yeah. things. No one's complaining about everyone likes that type of flavor shit. It's when one literally says you don't die 
if you pick this. <laughs> that one is crazy, you know? <laughs> And like utility stops being utility when you start involving player power in it. Right. It's like, right. Do you want to run fast? Do you want to jump high or do you want to like swim fast? Okay. At that point, you're just like, well, I don't know which one do I want to do? Which one do <laughs> yeah. I think is fun? And like, but if you run fast, you also hit 2% harder. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's yeah, like, yeah, well, now yeah. you've mm. thrown it all out of balance, and it's not about like just a fun flavor player choice. Like, what do I want to do? Some of them weren't even that, dude. Some of them weren't like some of them are like your you you don't pay as much for repairs. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. like that shit. No one's complaining about like. <laughs> yeah. But when yeah. you put all right, you have the option. <laughs> you have the option between one of your soul binds giving you no repairs, the other one giving you four percent damage. It's like. Huh. <laughs> right okay. yeah it's no longer a choice it's like it, it yeah it's like spirit bomb <laughs> it doesn't yeah, matter what's like, on exactly the counter, but, you know yeah. it doesn't matter like and that's what's going on with um it's like dude we're jim dude we're we're so many layers deep dude people don't even know I, <laughs> like uh so I mean, the fact that they've yeah i mean you kind of you kind of explained it already but um you have a you have a soul bind. There's three. You have a soul bind that has three DPS conduit. Uh, you can get three if you go down the right thing. You mm-hmm. have a soul bind where you can get two, and you have a soul bind where you can get two, and and like damage increases. So this one gives you three. This one gives you two. This one gives you two. As a DPS, I will never ever not use the three. You know what I mean? Like those soul binds might not might, might as well not exist. I'm not ever gonna. I'm not ever going to get rid of the damage. DPS. Not that off, dude. It's because yeah. it's as it a DPS, for tanks. as a tank, and even as a healer. I'm just <laughs> gonna, like, it yeah. doesn't fucking matter. Like that's. I'm just going to do whatever gives me more output, and that's it. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, and, and I'm not. I'm not quite uh, that hardcore about it. I think, but I think the problem is that uh, Blizzard won't make the choices along the way interesting enough to sway me away from exactly what you're saying. You know, oh, like, yeah, like they like I'm the kind of player that, yeah, I I'm not as worried about throughput because I can probably just do whatever it is I'm trying to do on my 18 alts, you know, with <laughs> yeah. with the power that I'm given kind of by default. But at the end of the day, like, I don't think they're going to make a compelling enough choice where I'm like, do I take 5% increased DPS or do I take you loot an extra piece of meat? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I'm going to take 5% well, so DPS. I was going to jump not- on that too. <laughs> I was going to jump on that and like uh, piggyback off that statement. And think of it like this. You have 20% increased armor for six seconds. You have no talent or you get 40% increased damage always. <laughs> <laughs> that's what spirit bomb mm. is that's the spirit bomb yeah. roll yes. 20% increased armor for 6 seconds no talent <laughs> or you get 40% increased healing and damage that yeah. is uh, and they're gonna balance the conduits that's a no. one row yeah yeah. I don't that's, know. that's not happening and that's that's kind of all across uh, a lot of the specializations and like, and like I said I'm kind of like playing at the fundamental level right now but uh, another one that kind of threw me off was like um, Enhancement Shaman. I was really excited for the changes for that. I was like, oh, are we going back to big, bursty, crazy, you know, Enhancement Shaman? And I was playing. I was like, I just feel like there's a weird gap somewhere yeah. in my rotation. And I felt like I had to like shove talents into it to like just make it yep. baseline feel like it it flowed well. Right. And I was like, Damn. at that point, I don't have an option of whatever these passive, you know, talents are going to be like i'm just picking the active one because i feel like i'm missing a button that i'm supposed to push exactly and some classes just have that kind of like jarring sort of like flow in the baseline class like without all the the extra stuff added on top and maybe that extra stuff will take care of it but like i don't think the classes should be at a point where they need that yeah you where know? they feel just like un almost i mean unplayable but like they just feel empty without it that's just not that's yeah, right. you, you get on Rep Paladin or something and it's like silky smooth and you've got yeah. like five different options and then you get on Shaman and you're like, 
So do I like pick my teeth at this point? Yeah. <laughs> like what am Dude, I doing I gotta, in this rotation? That, that reminds me because in Hand Shaman, like Mike, they, they added a hailstorm. I think they changed how that worked. And oh they my added God, that was and so stuff. sick. But, but what's weird, but the weird thing about Enhance is exactly what you're saying. When I first started playing it, like without hailstorm, I was like, oh, they, this is, they're not even done. They're not, right. they're not done with this spec. Like they didn't even, they still had Rockbiter and then they got rid of Rockbiter. And I was like, eh, I guess that makes sense. It didn't really do anything. But wait, now there's just nothing to do. Wait, yeah, this, spec, it's like, this spec isn't I, done. But yeah. then, and like, that's like, okay, that's not good. But then I eventually like testing out the talents. I ended up getting Hailstorm. And then once you have Hailstorm in there and Frost Shock like is part of your thing, it's like, oh, this spec is sick. Like, oh, 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 this yeah, like, works. Oh, like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> now it actually makes sense. Now you can build on top of this, but now there's no room to build on top of it because all your talents are in one row. Yeah. <laughs> in the same row. <laughs> yep. In the same it drives row. me nuts. Like, how are you going to... I've seen that so much where I'm like, oh, this one talent, kind of, I can see it. And then I'm yeah. like, where are the other pieces? <laughs> yeah. The same row. They're on the same row. Right. This is so stupid. weird. <laughs> so weird. So did did they give any more information on the the conduit ranks at all, or is it just the fact that there's going to be ranks and that's all we know? I'm oh. not. I'm not sure. I saw that the ranks have been like data mined, but I I don't remember there being anything like official. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious about that. Um, and then they what else did they add in? Like that's like that's recent. Is the uh the spell variant? Oh, dude. Oh okay. yeah. Do you have do you have any <laughs> any hot take on the spell variants? I don't care. I don't care. It's gonna no. make making guides more annoying because I'm gonna have to say, and this spell does 100 to 112 damage <laughs> instead of just yeah. 100 damage. Yeah. Yeah. And like that over 36 specializations <laughs> and all the abilities is probably gonna drive me insane. Yeah. From uh from uh actually playing the game point of view like from from second to second it's like it's not something you're gonna notice but for me it's like a principal thing it's like it literally wasn't in the game and nobody complained about it as far as i, I haven't heard a single i didn't even know it wasn't in the game i didn't know it ever was <laughs> yeah. and i didn't know they took it, it out so not in the game i never yeah. even thought of it <laughs> it was just something I, t- I took for granted yeah you're of course your ability it does 100 damage yeah and it's and because you have a ridiculous number of passive buffs and especially in bfa your ability never does the same amount of damage because of your buffs so it's like not even it's irrelevant that it's like this, there's no spell variance because well, your buffs they, just make it vary anyway but now they're purposefully adding in variance it's when like it wasn't they, it's they like were, what they talk about you know how like the math is already so complex and uh, you just throw another wrench into it with that. It's like, yeah. now, okay, is the computer calculating like 90 damage times <laughs> 80 million borrowed power things on top of that? Or is it got a roll for, you know, 90 to 100 damage? Like, why? Yeah. I don't know. So I think, I think this is another conspiracy tin hat thing. Oh. I think they put it in so that they can take it out and look better. <laughs> yep. Whoa. That's what I think. That hey, yeah, put- we- <laughs> We listen to feedback. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Uh, that's what I think. I think they were like, "All right, we're gonna, we gotta, you know, we we're, we got this whole thing. People are like loving our changes we're making. We need another change that they're gonna like. All right, all right, all right. Well, we added spell variants. Let us know how it feels. Oh, we hate it. Oh, do ya? <laughs> we're taking it out now. That's what I think. Anyway, oh, that's deep. You don't like torments? Look, huh. <laughs> they got us. Yeah, yeah, we're like praising them. We're like, yeah, yeah, thanks for not, thanks for taking it out. The thing that you put in, yeah. we yeah, forgot that they put you it were in. Gonna slap me, but you didn't. We, yeah. Thank you. Dang, that's. Oh no, that's got me thinking. Oh no, that's uh, got me worried. There, uh, just, gotta, like, just gotta just let it go, man. I'm, just I'm just treat it, just treat it like spell variants, and just yeah. forget. I kind of hope it's true now, because like, what if like. The covenant thing, like the locking your covenant ability, is like just a big uh, build up. Oh, yeah, like, we're so stuck on it. They you ultimately, know, like, they're like, I, you know what? <laughs> we really, at the end of the day, we realize that you guys, you guys are right about this and we got to blah, blah, blah. We're for the players. We listen to feedback <laughs> and then everybody's like, let's go. They listen to us. I don't know. Dude, I'll, dude, I'll, I'll write, at this point, I'll write a thank you. 
thank you, Nope. Like, <laughs> imagine <laughs> if they hired someone that is like the ultimate manipulator, and they're just like, they're like, all right, how do we get people to love our game? And they're like, you need to make them hate it first, and then <laughs> oh my. make away. Well, they succeeded with BFA. <laughs> yeah. They we got a like, they love Legion. We got to make a real dog shit expansion. <laughs> yeah, they went you know, like, deep I with that. I, I don't fix know how it many all times I've that. Yeah, that's what James just said. <laughs> you know, like they, I, I feel like sometimes they just need an expansion that they can coast through. Right. True, true. Because they're oh, trying, yeah, they're other trying one, to yeah. do something. The B team. They're trying to do something for the next one. But my problem is, like, I don't feel like they ever do anything for the next one because I look yeah. around and I'm just like, you know, on the base level, the class has got to feel good. And we've had this borrowed conversation or borrowed power conversation. But like you look around at other other MMOs and the things that some of them do and you're like, wow, could totally do that. Like, mm-hmm. why isn't there more interesting interaction with your giant open world? Like. You know, Guild Wars 2 has this whole system where you can get mounts and your mounts do crazy stuff and then let you get to areas in the world that you couldn't get to before. And it's just a literally just took that functionality out of wow. (laughs) (laughs) Like they're like, oh yeah, we can do different crazy things. Not anymore, motherfuckers. (laughs) They can do these three kind of lame things that we didn't implement very well. (laughs) Like, I don't know. And and I feel like they just they never take that that big leap, or when they do. It's always so like out of touch with yeah, what the community is asking for that it's like, well, if you're going to take risks, like at least take the ones that we're talking about. Right. You know, and that's, yeah. And that's why island like, expeditions are <laughs> exactly warfronts. like, where do they Dude, come isn't from? That, isn't that crazy to think like the, the flagship feature features or whatever of BFA, what, what was in BFA that wasn't in other expansions? Islands, fucking nothing, and warfronts because we're forgetting about uh, that expansion. Yeah, and like vision, visions. You know, they they had something going with visions, but like that was way late. It's like, oh man, that flop. But Torgas, it's like, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. You guys are trying something new. It almost feels like you outsource this. Like it's not even the same I, company yeah. making this. <laughs> like you, you hired a, a rogue like you know indie dev to make this. You know, and they're just crushing it. It's, it's I, little, I literally look at creepy. Torghast and I'm like, if if the the Battle.net client had game version and it was dropped down, wow, Torghast, and it was just its own thing. Like, yeah, I would I would play that. That's so true. Hundred percent. I think that's gonna be. I have like a um something I was thinking about with uh because we got like WoW Classic. This was it. Was that this year? Oh my god, last time year? is flying. That was last year, right? Okay, Jesus. I was like, <laughs> time is flying. Uh, but we got WoW Classic. We got a bunch of people sub to WoW in general. Maybe more classic than retail, but um, you know, whenever Shadowlands comes out, you're probably gonna have a lot of classic people try out Shadowlands, you know, because I got the sub, might as well buy the game and try it out, you know. Like I'm I'm a WoW player now. What if like Torgas is the thing that like sinks them in, you know? And like they're playing yeah. retail to play Torghast. Like they, they're classic players, but they log into retail to do Torghast because it's just awesome. Oh, Blizzard will take it out in the next expansion. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. Dude, that was, that was like one of my first thoughts. I was like, man, this is amazing, right? But like, how are they going to have another one if it's like a mainstay kind of like people like having a roguelike yeah. thing in WoW? How are they going to transfer yeah. this? Like, you'll have to like time walk back, I guess. To, <laughs> I don't know how they're going to do that. Cause it's man that like they're really crushing it. I don't know. Like it, it could flop somehow, but like from day one, it's been like a whoa, this is cool. So yeah, that's uh, my. I'll like, yeah. oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, I was just I, I was literally just gonna ask uh, one of the the viewers just asked a question about a warlock at an affliction warlock, and I was just seeing what you got if you if you had a chance to actually test that out yet. Yeah. So um, I'm a scrub. Uh, on Warlock, but I level it and I play it, and I've been like Destro Lock the whole way because I'm like, this is like a spooky fire mage, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, favorite yeah. mage spec. Um, so I have I've like 
I got into Warlock a little bit later. I don't consider myself an expert at all, but playing through, I actually, I, I did a little like kind of test when I initially got the beta of Warlock and I literally did my little Warlock deep dive today and oh. <clears throat> played all three specializations. And to me, Sir Mor- Mor- uh, you know, Warlock scrub here, they all feel really fun. I don't know. I was like really mm-hmm. pumped with how like fluid everything felt. Um, Getting into any big changes that stand out, or any big things that stand out, even if they're not changes. So, uh, you, like so you know, like me being honest, I don't even know if they're changes. I just like maybe I just noticed yeah. them for the first time, and like destruction feels like destruction, right? It mm-hmm. I pl- I play that enough that there's nothing like crazy really throwing me off there. The big takeaway for me with uh, demonology was like, I actually felt like I could have like 15 imps and I wasn't trying to like micromanage the hell out of my rotation. Yeah. And that felt really good because I was like, I'm actually running around with a horde of demons and I don't feel, I feel like I'm just a normal WoW player, not a, you know, content creator trying to figure (laughs) everything out. Like I'm just like screwing up my rotation and I still got 10 imps and and like that just felt great. You don't need like an individual timer for every single imp you have. Right. (laughs) And then uh, for Affliction, um, man, what is it called? Uh, no, no, I bet it's, oh, I bet it's Malefic I, Rapture, Malefic, I bet. Yeah, some, some M Rapture. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like, man, like throwing, throwing dots on stuff and then just spamming that, I was like, this feels super good because it's yeah. like multi-dotting, which is fun, but I just remember like leveling with multi-dotting and just being like, I'm going to cast corruption on these six things and then I'm going to run. <laughs> and this is <laughs> and I wait <laughs> and hope my void it's walker so doesn't die. <laughs> uh, but for this, I was like, you know what? I'm here. We go. We're going to do agony, 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 see the corruption. All right. I'm going to throw unstable affliction on one thing. And then I'm just going to spam this in numbers everywhere. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. confetti fireworks and numbers. And like, I don't know. I had a lot of fun. Like it, it was to me, it was so fun that it moved it up into like the tier of, of classes and specializations that I'm considering being one of the four covenant mains that I'm planning on having in Shadowlands. <laughs> that's such a funny, funny like statement. <laughs> uh, it's so true though. Yeah. It's weird, weird reality. It went from Horde and Alliance in BFA where I was like, well, I guess I got to have a main for both of these now. So now we have four different ones. And I'm like, <laughs> And they threw the transmog uh, in on top of that. Like, I hate, I hate the Necrolore, like, leather transmog. I just think it looks, I don't know. Some people are going to like it. I know. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. But yeah. I like, I really like the Necrolord, uh rogue ability. The little, uh, the bone spike. The bone spikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that feels so good. That's cool. I was like, I don't want this transmog though. And that's like, that's one of those <laughs> moments where I was like, Blizzard, don't do this. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot See, of those. See, even all the way from the top end to the people who just play when they got a few hours, everybody agrees on this. Yeah. Everybody. Everyone has a reason to get the fucking abilities away from the goddamn covenant <laughs> so that way we can enjoy this fucking game the way we want to enjoy the game. Anyway, Zach, what are your thoughts on uh, Warlock? <laughs> Well, that's that was my that's my next um my little my little deep dive kind of spec video that's coming out. So I've been like, um, we were kind of we were kind of looking at it at the same time there. But uh, yo, yeah, Malefic Rapture. There has never been a ability like that in the game. I mean, you can kind of compare it to like Unholy Wound Bursting, but really, it's not. Uh, right. That ability, the way I put it, is el- it's very elegant. It yeah. fixes it fixes the solution of a affli- the it fixes the issues with affliction, um, being like in, entirely dot damage and having zero burst. It fixes that while perfectly like keeping the affliction identity multi dotting you know identity intact. And it's like I don't know which company came up with this. <laughs> it probably wasn't Blizzard, it but wasn't hey, Blizzard. <laughs> hey, that's a good button. And they didn't have to you know like they didn't have to. The fact that it's so elegant, it's one ability, and it didn't require like 17 million passive changes and talent changes and like change their entire all their abilities to re, you know interact with it. It was just, yeah, it's a new ability. 
that uh baseline works baseline ability that baseline base correct and, yeah exactly yeah, like they they just i don't know who came up with that but that they crushed it with that button and so like it's gonna make them better in mythic plus if you care about that because you actually have like you're not the super bursty instant you're instantly doing bursty damage but like you set up for five seconds ten you know six seconds and then you do burst and it's like oh that's all, mm-hmm. that's, that's all I need, you know, in a Mythic Plus, things actually live long enough for that. So Affliction is going to be good in Mythic Plus. And then I have kind of a, a grand prediction for Affliction, which people are t- kind of tired of Affliction being like meta, you know, like broken and the king, no mm. king lives forever, that whole that whole meme. Uh, yeah, they're going to be king again. That button's broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's really nice. The other stuff feels like feels good, too. But th- when I was playing, I was like something about this. It, you're exactly right. It's elegant. It's like I just feel like it It flows. It's not like a enhancement shopping shaman. When I hit that that point where I was just like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. I just was like, I dot these things. I spam this. OK, I've spammed that. It's time to go into a shadow bolt. But almost everything's dead. Yeah, and that's good. Yeah, can and we talk? Uh, can we talk Dead Eye? Dead? Oh, you, you like Dead Eye? <laughs> new <laughs> new Martian Dead Eye. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, uh, I, mentioned, I mentioned it when I I uh, Marksmanship was one of the first specs I went over, and I mentioned that like you know they got this new talent, and uh, Marksmanship is <laughs> dude, their execute is about to be, <laughs> about uh-huh. to be something else. Uh, uh, do you know what? Uh, do you know what this is, Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the uh, you oh. get the two kill shots, right? Uh, you get the 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 kill shots, but they also make your the charges on your aim shot cool down faster. So I was out. Uh, I went out to Arlo. I've only been doing most of my testing on the dummy, so I haven't <laughs> found a dummy to actually execute on. Oh, <laughs> but I've been okay. I've been doing a lot of marksman. So marksman is like really, really up on you know up on my list for sure. Yeah, every, everything I've done, I've like just run out into the world and tried to find things to kill, which is it's a mixed bag, right? Because sometimes it's not close to my level. Sometimes it is. But there's a there's a spot not too far from where you get into Arden Will where you can like jump down and there's some level 60 Panthers out there. And so I went out there at level 60. Panthers are level 60. I'm not over geared. And it was literally Aim shot, kill shot, aim shot, <laughs> kill shot, aim shot, kill shot, aim yeah. shot, kill shot. And I'm not kidding. Like that was the flow. There was, it wasn't like aim shot, kill shot, aim shot, kill shot. No, it was just boom, boom, boom. I was like this. I wasn't taking time to loot. I wasn't doing anything. I was just <laughs> running from like enemy to enemy. Just like, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. It feels and so like, good. You get to kind of do that in Torgas too. Cause like you even got synergies with aim shot and kill shot. So like, bro. It gets yeah, and then yeah, and then then you know, then you get bored and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna volley rapid fire. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> bored. Okay, and then that feels awesome. Yeah, volley rapid fire is so sick. Volley aim <laughs> shot is so sick, dude. I can't tell. Like, I've been having so much fun with marksman, and and the fact that like you you you're so mobile, other than you know aim shot or whatever, but like you're so mobile and you're able to like the it's um the glacial spike effect i love the fact that you just do one big thing you charge it up it hits and then you see all their health just like dink. disappear that yeah. never happens in a while like so i love the fact that it's just like dink and you see their health <laughs> go down just a little you actually see you move the that bar was me. yeah that was me i killed it i did that <laughs> yeah run so run right. run out there find those panthers they're not too far and just just try that Aim shot, kill shot, dude. I'm it's gonna, I'm gonna for sure. Amazing. But um, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, so we're we're sneaking up on that uh hour and thirty, and I wanted to talk so much about like UI and stuff like that. But I mean, conversation was great. So I mean, I'm, I thank I thank you a lot for coming on. Super fun. I hope you had a good time, and maybe hopefully next time when you come on, we can talk a little bit more about UI and how you use Opi and stuff like that. But uh so what 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 are you thinking like how how where can people find you uh well i mean for the most part i'm just active on my youtube channel which is uh you know just search for sedzuko and uh i've got a discord channel that's linked in most of my videos that you can hop into if you want to um and like i said for the most part you know what i try to do is i try to make content for people that are trying to learn new specs trying to learn new 
uh, new classes, get in the game. And um, that's kind of like the upcoming expansion. Um, I'm actually throw this out there. I'm starting a, a guild Alliance and Horde side U S um, where the intention is just like the whole purpose of the guild is if you want to learn a new, you know, spec or class or whatever, and you just want to do it with people that are doing the same thing and aren't going to give you a grief or whatever, you can just drop in, drop out. And uh, when you're, you're ready to go off and do other things, just peace out and leave unless you want to play Torghast. Cause Ooh, I like that's that. the other thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, me too. So me too. that's what my channel is all about. It's about, um, trying to help people who who aren't ready to Mythic Plus, you know, get to that point and and kind of send them on their oh, way. People are asking how to spell your name. T. <laughs> well, uh, we'll link to. Um, oh yeah, Z U K O. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, it's better it's just to link to it. Um, yeah, we'll but yeah, all that, all that. Thing. That said, I really enjoyed being uh, on the show. Uh, I don't, you know. The first thing I told you was, I don't know how you found me, <laughs> but I'm happy that you did. Uh, I'd love to come back on and talk UI and, and, and all that kind of stuff and like playing WoW with uh, a bit of a disability and that kind of stuff too. The good conversations. So yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. We'll, uh, yeah, like you said, we'll, we'll link to everything. So if you can't spell his name, yeah, you'll, you'll learn it. You'll learn it. You check them out, check out the guild and, um, yeah, hope to see you next time. We'll probably probably see you in the beta. We do this uh, podcast normally. It's every it's every Friday. It's Friday, right? Oh my god, time's flying. Like yeah, said. Uh, <laughs> it's Friday. Normally we do it at uh, three p.m. every Friday. Um, we get we got raid testing starting up now, so we might have to switch it around depending on when they do stuff. But um, yeah, catch us live then, and then we're uploading this on. Uh, we upload the the vod of the podcast on Saturday, so you can catch it on YouTube. Catch it on uh you know spotify anywhere anywhere and everywhere it's going to be everywhere so you know subscribe and whatever else you do with the podcast and uh we'll be around but yeah i've uh i'm i'm zax uh yes i'm jim pro and <laughs> thanks that <Duco. laughs> uh, we uh, thanks. Still- uh yeah, see you guys later see ya bye